Welcome to Testimony Tuesday with Pastor Brent Oliver from Delphi First Assembly of God and Kokomo Southview Church. Join in celebrating the goodness of God as we hear the stories of how He touches His people. Jeff Dague, would you come here, please? <laughs> we were at a board meeting yesterday. Kelson, you like his shirt? <laughs> mm. As you all know, Jeff has faced over the last year, year, what, more? Uh, pretty strong early, health. Early this last year. Early this last year. Uh, pretty strong health issue. Take us back. Tell us specifically diagnosis and what was said from there and then we'll go let's start from there okay, okay. Um, early last year I had lumps on my my lymph nodes were swelled up so COVID it took a while to get to talk to the doctor and and <clears throat> to, to shorten it up a little bit finally I had my tonsils removed and they said I had cancer in there so they removed my tonsils and that's not an easy thing at 62 years old um, <clears throat> so then they started putting my feeding tube in and my chemo port and all that stuff, and they um, progressed with uh, 35 rounds of uh, radiation and and three really strong hits of, of chemo. And after uh, after that, which is five weeks of of the radiation after about the third week it got very difficult I, I couldn't eat I couldn't talk um, I after about the fifth week I lost my will to get out of bed um, so between COVID all this going on and then the fact that you were going Kibo and everything else you're pretty much home yeah, except for going for my treatment, I went home, got in bed, and stayed there. How did that? How did you deal with that mentally? Um, it was tough. I, I towards the end of treatment, and and it kept accelerating for the few weeks after treatment. It even got worse. But um, there was days when I just I my very last strength was. I almost couldn't, and and frankly, I I knew that everybody was praying for me. And I, talk about the church for a minute, the people of God. Well, many many people reached out, and I knew they were praying for me. Um, Brad and Bill and Tab and Jimmy were coming to my house once a week, and. And even during the COVID, they even prayed outside a few times. <laughs> and I knew the life groups were all praying for me. And <clears throat> many people messaged and said they were praying for me. What'd that do for you? I, it, when I had no strength, when I had nothing else going on, God was giving me strength, and it was because of, the, because of you all praying for me but God gave me the strength to go on another minute or another hour or another day it was I thank you each and every one of you for praying I couldn't have done it without you. you you meant the world to me when I had no strength Now God has brought you to the place of? I'm cancer free. <laughs> I, I feel great. I, I've, during this, I lost 45 pounds, which I still struggle to eat a little bit, but um, it's minor because I'm cancer free and I'm alive and, and I have you to thank for that. Give the Lord thanks, would you? Thank you, Jeff. Anything else you want to say? No, just 
once again, thank you. <laughs> Don't ever think that your prayers are not being accepted or not. They're so meaningful, so meaningful. And thank you. That is a people who, what Jeff experienced, is not a people who are just busy about their lives, who don't know nor care. What Jeff experienced is a people who have a connection with God and a connection with him and he a connection with them. And so they become one with God, one with one another. And when these kinds of things come your way, you don't stand alone. So while we can talk about all of the reasons to become one with God and one with one another, we can talk about submitting and this, and we, and we may in weeks ahead talk about that. But Jeff shared with me yesterday, he goes, I think I'm ready. I, I, I want to give thanks to God and I want to thank our congregation for the prayers. You know what it's like to be in the middle of winter and guys show up outside your door and just going to pray because you inside need it? Do you realize the strength that that gives? This has been brought to you by Delphi First Assembly of God and Kokomo Southview Church. To contact us or send us your prayer request, testimony of answered prayer, or Bible questions, please see the information on the screen. May God's salvation through Jesus Christ overflow into your life with his joy. God bless until we see you again.